Johnson has already made a three, passed it up this time. Now Evans from the corner, late in the shot clock. He buries it. Then daring them to shoot the ball from the perimeter. Johnson does again. Clark, another offensive rebound, and he puts it back on. Against, against Delaware, Thorpe losing it. Tried to pass out as he stumbled. Johnson the steal for Cincinnati. Pulling up and connecting. Leo De Silva, number 21 for USF at the top of that zone. He loves playing that position. Late in the shot clock, Copain scoops it in, plus the foul. Six to shoot, Holston falling away. Troy Holston. Cincinnati. Holston pulling up, no, Ruben Guerrero, the seven-footer, tips it back in. Inside, Clark off the feed from Washington, and one. For the three-year starter at point guard. This time in the lane, and the floater is good for Copain. So the heck with this. Copain on the money, this time from long range. Fitz, another crack at it, going reverse side. The bucket and the foul. Under 10 minutes to go. Jaron Cumberland decides to attack after faking the three, and he lays it in. Jaron at a career high 26 against South Florida the first time around. Now comes up with a steal. After his first points tonight, couldn't make the layup here, but Kevin Johnson is right behind him to follow up. And that really was the difference maker in this game. They blew it wide open with that run. Geno Thorpe, a three-pointer, his first tonight. The shot clock for USF, Jennifer the strip. Ahead to Jacob Evans, who can fly. He flushes it, 44-inch vertical on display. Does a great job sliding his feet as well, too. How about the defense from Copain on Thorpe there? Now Cumberland, the hustle play. Evans, Jennifer, back to Evans with a sledgehammer finish. Here comes Malik Fitz stepping through, slashing all the way to the rim. Bo Ziegler can get up as well. He's got a vertical of 41 inches.